once again at Kapirintiwa Community Day Secondary School and uh, we are in the finished hostel and uh, the girls have already started occupying this room. This is room one and uh, from the sources they say that uh, 27 students are sleeping in here. Hello girls. Hello girls. How are you? Fine and fine. Very fine. How many students are in this room? There are 27 students. 27 students. I see. That's beautiful. Are you enjoying staying here? Yes. Hello, can you introduce yourself once again? My name is Very Taking Banda. I'm a student at Camp Lintua, a community day secondary school. I'm in Form 2. Okay, Violet, nice to meet you once again. Um, last time we met, um, we were talking something about the hostel which wasn't completed, and now it is completed. Can you just tell us something about the hostel? On behalf of my fellow students, I appreciate the Bradford Girls Grammar School for assisting us in completing the hostel by flooring and plastering. We appreciate and we are proud of them. Yeah, Bradford Girls Grammar School, that is the message. So tell me something about the hostel. How many students are in your room? In my room, there are 35 students. All right, 35. And in the other room, how, do you have any idea about how many students are there? Uh, I don't have any idea. Yeah, but I heard that is 27. All right, so... Are you enjoying being in this hostel? Yeah, I'm enjoying in being in this hostel because I am, on behalf of my fellow students, we are close to the school and we are having much time to concentrate on our education and we are not tired to do some works. Instead, we are busy reading and preparing for the exams. Good. So, um, I've been uh, in the hostel. What is remaining uh, for the hostel to be, to be good enough for you guys? The room is needed to be paint, painted so that it can give much light. Okay, so it is remaining for painting to give much light. Yeah. Wow, that's, it seems to be really great that you guys are enjoying the hostel. All right. Okay, thank you so much. It has been nice speaking to you, Violet. All right. Enjoy your studies. Thank you. Yeah, hello, sir. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um, I understand uh, that uh, there is this structure uh, which is the girls' hostel. Indeed. Just briefly tell us something about the hostel. Uh, well, um, this hostel indeed is uh, being initiated by the community. But upon being evicted, we have our friends out there, brand for the girls grammar school, which of course decided to give a hand. And uh, indeed, it has assisted us in finishing the hostel, especially floor and plaster. And not only that, it has indeed da has done a lot of work. So that's about this hostel. So at the moment, how many students are accommodated in this hostel? Uh, right now, uh, I feel there are about uh, eight or seven or less. Initially, I should say the matron is in a position of telling us the exact number. Okay. Yeah. So tell me something about the benefits of uh, the hostel to the girls. Well, the benefits of this hostel to the girls, uh, I can assure you that uh, 
uh, there is a great deal of change because you know these girls move from different places and uh, these places are far away from here as such they find lots of problems now having this hostel in place it has really assisted because uh, most girls are now uh, commuting from this room to the classes as such they have minimized this so many problems problems like being so tired they are now very free to go to school early they are free to go to school not tired and they study at all times day and night okay Something about their security, I don't know, is this hostel very secure as compared to the previous structure? Yeah, the hostel is secured in such a way that with the assistance from our friends out there, we have managed to at least uh, buy uh, window sashes and window panes. Probably we are just remaining with the bag bars that we should at least make it uh, so much safe. But uh, well, there is indeed security because uh, their, even their luggage is protected after the floor is uh, done. We were complaining of termites, cockroaches, but now such things are just a history. All right, um, any word to Bradford? Well, a word to our friends there, Bradford Girls Grammar School, I really appreciate it and I don't even find a good word to say thanks. However, may God bless them and let this be done to others as well, not only us. But they have really done something uh, very, very, very wonderful to the school. And, uh, even the parents are appreciating what uh, Brantford Girls Grammar School is doing. Okay, thank you so much, sir. It has been nice speaking to you. Well, uh, I thank you very much. However, I, I wanted to mention something. You said, you talked about something related to security. There is again something that is uh, somehow a challenge to us, which we are planning to do for the hostel. For example, it is not yet uh, painted, so we are to paint the hostel and again, apart from painting, we are also planning to buy beds so that they should be sleeping on beds instead of sleeping directly on the floor. Wow. That's our I, plan. I see. Yes. So we hope that the, these plans, they materialize one day or another. Exactly. Okay, thank you so much thank you, for thank sparing you. this time to speak to you. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you. Thank you.